Hi guys, welcome to uh, Transformers Review. This is of the Bot Box. I uh, thought we'd do uh, these guys. First time I've done this, so uh, bear with me. I'm not sure if I can do the same normal thing I can do with the kind of camera setup in terms of light and everything else like that. So just thought I'd give it a go. I picked these up from In Demand Toys. So um, they come in different packs. You can get an eight pack, a five pack, and just the blind bag one and just the blind bag ones which just come with one of these so these are a couple of the eight pack ones so I've picked those up they're kind of um, they're in kind of different groups so we've got one which is the jock squad and one is the greaser gang and they have certain um, like a, I think it's about four or five from that particular group and then I think it I think it's so we've got six um, eight in this one uh, eight in the other I think it's something like I'm sure it's six of one group, one of another, and then a blind bag one. So kind of six of one group and two of the other, I think. Um, anyway, we're going to open up and take a look at them and do the blind bag, blind bag thing. First of all, just have a look at the packaging on each one. So this is the Jock Squad. And uh, the packaging's pretty cool. And uh, you've got loads of cool artwork here. Um, they're real kind of cartoony um, I think these are going to be great for kids to mess about with and equally adults who just want kind of a little toy on their desk or anything else like that they look pretty good fun so you've got jock squad down here and a picture of one of them here which I think is this guy here who's kind of like a hockey puck I think turn around to the back and you get a picture of the gang all together and for example shows his two little modes here it doesn't have much information other than that I believe each of them got their own kind of um, symbol on them so faction symbol so for instance the jock squad there uh, one is that one and the greasy gang have got one which looks like a bit like a pizza so I'm gonna open this up I think there is like a a thing in here as well which just shows you like a checklist for all the different figures I think there's about it's well over 30 figures out it might be more than that so I'm going to leave the little thing off the side and then we'll have a look at that in a minute ah. so pop that off the side and bring this little display thing in here just to be handy just to take a look at some of them so just adjust that luckily it doesn't look as if any of them are put in with any like bits of plastic or anything else like that so you don't have to cut them out you just have to literally just pop them straight out so do that um so joshy uh, say hello yeah hello mate so i uh, just noted that pop up so first time i've done one of these live feeds so just thought i'd try it out so about three minutes in right, let's pop these guys out thank you joshy <laughs> good to have a fan Right, let's have a look at this. So I've got loads of toys in around me at the moment. So this is the little hockey puck guy. And yeah, it's a nice little bit of paint on him. It's sort of number nine on here. Looks like he's got a black eye there. So he's got a bit of a whack. Um, not much articulation on him. But uh, and then I think to transform him you just fold fold this bit in here. Yeah, fold that in here and then push that in, is it? Yeah, so you do have to be a bit forceful for it with it. And then you've got your little hockey puck. And then to transform again, pull this bit out and then pull the head up, which looks like a little hockey style helmet. Oh, this one's a little bit tough to, to do. So you do have to use a little bit of things on it. So a little... Joshy's just uh, mentioned that the uh, bot bots are the best. So, um, you know, if you guys have got any of these ones, uh, keen to know which ones that you've got. And uh, let us know if you've got a particular favourite. God, that one's tough to do. I'm going to have to see if I can... Oh. So that's my first bit of feedback, that one. <laughs> that one's really tough to, to try and wiggle out. 
All right, I'm going to leave that guy off to the side for the moment and uh, have a look at him in a minute. Uh, I wonder if they've got a picture with all their names on. So in here we've got uh, this kind of checklist. So that first one's called Puxy. So it does have his instructions. Ah, okay, that's great. So it shows the different squads that they're part of. Ah, brilliant, okay. So we've got two that are in the jock squad. So this one, which is the blue one, which is called Arctic Guzzle Rush. Who's kind of like this little water bottle, it looks like. And uh, looks like what you do with him is you kind of open these bits up here, it looks like. Oh yeah, you've got these bits here, which are around the front. Just open up like that. Pull his little arms out like that. Like so. And looks if you fold his little legs out from the bottom here as well. There you go. Cool little guy, isn't he? So pop him at the back here. There we go. And then next one here, um, this blue one here. And this one is Lolly Licks. So I'm not sure which group he's from. There are a lot that are from... They're from like a, a lost gang, I, I, I think. Uh, no, no, they, they do show which ones they are. If you look at them, it does show which ones they are, but I'm not sure which ones they are. So this Angry Cheese one, I know he's part of the Greaser gang. Um, Grit Sandwich and different ones. So this one's Lolly Licks. Um, yeah, I think Josh just put on his thing that uh, he's the first one to watch it. So I, I think that is the case. So well done. So Lolly Licks. Um, again, that's this face hint here, and uh, all you do from the looks of it is just kind of fold everything up, I think. So fold this bit in here, fold in his little hands, oh the, these bits kind of come together like that, so that's kind of like the handle for this. Um, yeah, unfortunately, Josh, I don't speak Spanish, unfortunately, just English. I don't know if this comes up in English or whether or not I need to get something that's in subtitles or not. I don't know if you can do that for the other ones, but um, we'll try, uh, see if we can get something sorted out. So that's that one there, Lolly Licks. So that's a, a cool little one. I'll pop that off to the side here. Pretty impressed with these guys so far. Uh, next one we've got is Screen Fiend. Uh, so this is this grey one here. He's quite happy with himself, isn't he? Um, his little arms move. He's quite happy. And transforming him, you just kind of get hold of these bits. Okay, so uh, the feedback we've got so far from uh, Josh who's watching, he's over in Spain just saying they're a little bit difficult. So I presume he means in terms of trying to kind of get them transformed sometimes but uh even what i've had trouble with is the little this little puck one here it seems a little bit difficult um yes yeah, so it's screen fiend so is that supposed to be like a tablet i guess or a phone potentially yeah, a tablet or something like that so we've got that here um next up we've got angry cheese who's uh kind of like a toasted cheese sandwich looks quite good isn't he he's part of the um He's the he's one of the snack bots, the greaser gang. And this opens up here so you can see his little face. So I'm not sure if that's a if he's cross there or if he's if that's he's just pretty pleased with himself that he moves his little hands out like that. And bring this down. I'm not sure if that comes out anything. Yeah, so a cheese. So you've got that guy there. Uh, I think that's good. Uh, not sure. Oh, his legs do come down. Just need to be able to pull them down, I think. Oh, oh. yeah, so that's a little bit on the tricky side, that. Oh. Ah, here we go. I have pulled it out. At the same time, I've knocked the other one out. Ah, there we go. 
So there you go, that's that guy. Pop them up here. That one's a little bit difficult to stand up, so you have to sort of pop them over here. There you go, it's got the water bottle here. Some are, are packaged in their robot mode, others are packaged in their kind of alt mode, and it kind of varies between each one. Um, and sometimes on each one, this one's called King Toots, and he looks like he's just um, Lou Roll, and it's got these little Autobot symbols on it and kind of perforations going around it. And he just opens up here and here, so you then should be able to see his bit of his eyes. And then you get hold of this bit here, which is going to fold down like so. Looks like he's got his little legs in here like that. So they're going to come out. And little arms here as well. Let's pull these out. Oh, a little bit tough. There we go. His little arms come out like so. There you are. And you've got uh, King Toots. Another neat little looking one. And last one from this guy, this gang, we've got uh, Grit Sandwood. And he looks like a little kind of dump truck sort of thing. And it looks like you just transform him just by opening this up like that. And pushing this bit back up. And that is him. He's little arms move backwards and forwards like that. So it looks like we pop him over here. And then you do have a blind bag one on here as well. So we'll take a little look at this one. So it looks like what you do is you peel this bit off like that. And then we take a look to see what's inside. So let's have a little look. Oh, um, right, so not sure who this guy is or what he's supposed to be. So if any of you guys know, let us know. Like I said, if you've got if you've got these guys, let us know what you think of them and who's your favourite. Oh, his little arms are a little bit squeaky, a little bit tight. There you go. So that's a new one there. I don't know which one that one is. Uh, ah, so if we turn the thing around. You do get like a checklist of them all. So just seeing where this guy is on there. He's down at the bottom here. So I'm not sure who he is, but you can go through and tick them all off. So I think I will do that as you go through, just to so I can make sure I've got them all. I think these are starting to show up in stores around the UK as well. I think I saw a post the other day about them showing up in Smith's toy shop. Oh, so I'm just going to push this back to the side. Then I'm going to open up the next one. Uh, and this is the Grease Gang. Um, you see it comes up in different languages. You've got the snack. They call them the snack bots as well. Um, and uh, Pandilla fast food as well. And that's their little symbol up here. It's like a pizza symbol. So I'm going to open this up. You see we've got... Um, old puck here so he's going to be the spare one that I've got here so I'll need to um, kind of trade that with someone you know uh, I've probably got someone to trade that one with at the moment but um, if you guys want to if you want to use the comments you can always use that as a place to kind of communicate about swaps and things like that if you want to say which ones you've got duplicates of you can always message to organize that you've got uh, pictures of a few of the guys here one's like tomato ketchup bottle you've got one that's a pizza the cheese on toast one uh various different ones these guys are like cupcakes or something like that and again comes with a little blind bag one in here as well so right so it's gonna open up these guys just gonna get all this out of the way open this up I'm going to open up this set of kind of instructions here. 
and again it shows you all the different ones here. So I've got uh, Puxy, uh, Ms. Take, is in Mistake, NRGs is in Energies, uh, Rad Hacks, Puxy, Pusham, uh, what's this one? Bonsai, Bonsai, as in Bonsai um, plant, Spud Muffin, and Fottle Barts, which is a good one. Um, so this is, those are the two from the gang. So if I open these up, uh, we've got Spud Muffin first, which is like the portion of chips one here, and looks like you pull this up like so. Come around here, pull these down like that, this little legs. And you can pull that around like that, and then you've got him. I see a spud muffin over here. So you can pop him over with the other ones. And then we've got this guy here, which is Rad Hacks. He looks a little bit perplexed, doesn't he? A little bit um, upset with himself. Nice little bit of paint on here, here, a little keyboard. Uh, looks like these bits fold in here, this fold in, and these bits as well. And then you can even have them like that if you wanted to, and that can close up like that. Uh, next one we've got Poo Sham. It's a little shampoo bottle. Again, very pleased with himself. And uh, looks like all you do with this guy here is you kind of looks like you twist this bit around. It looks like. Like that and uh, rotate these bits up just to cover up the face push these bits in and fold that bit in here like that there you go so you've got your shampoo bottle and in here and then you've got this one here a mistake so mistake um, and he's that because he's a rubber so there's a little picture of a pencil on here, and this bit's supposed to be the eraser on the end of it. And to transform him, get hold of the little arms, push them out, like so. Fold out his little things on here. Got his hands out, like so. There you go, you've got a mistake. Pop them over there. Uh, then we've got the same one that we had before. So we've got Puxy. So he's my spare one. So I quite like him. So at the moment we've got one in his robot mode, one in his in his alt mode. This one here, which is uh, Fossil Barts. So he's like a tomato sauce, looks like. And he looks a little bit, ooh. So um, all you do with him, Transform him. His arms move like the rest of them. Fold these bits round. Fold this in like that. Fold that in. And you've got yourself a little ketchup bottle. Pop that off to the side. And then we've got a new one in here. Um, NRGs. And again, these little energy kind of can. And from looking at it, see what you do. He's got even the little details on the top here. See what you do. Looks like you pull these bits out. So I should really look at the instructions, shouldn't I? So you've got this bit. Ah, this bit here. You pull this bit back. Oh, it's a little bit tough that bit. You've got his face shown there. You bring his little arms out. I'll see anything about these is um, I think they I think some of the connections are a little bit tight, you know, especially if you've got kids playing with this, they're gonna they might struggle just to disconnect some of the things. I don't think you're gonna break them, but you do have to use a bit of force on them. 
And it might be that that's just like a, a thing to start off with that uh, you might just use have to use a bit of force. And again, this guy looks uh, extremely happy with himself. Um, they didn't seem to have sort of like uh, good guys and bad guys. It's just kind of their own little factions in terms of ones like fast food, ones to do with um, plants and things like that. So, and like the jock squad and whatnot. So then we've got uh, this little blind bag one. And we're just going to open this guy up. So this is our last one. I will do a few more reviews of these guys. And uh, oh, here, here we've got here. Uh, oh, we've got Bonsai. So it does actually show the name of the the blind bag one that's on here. Oh, that's odd. Um, you think it wouldn't show it on here, but um, it does. I wonder if it shows that on the other one. Yeah, it does show Stink Eye, um, Stink Eye Stapleton. So you're supposed to be a stapler, the other one that I opened up. So if you don't want to ruin the surprise, the thing is not to open that bit first. So just to let you know. Uh, so, so that one here, where is it? Yeah, you pull this bit up, it looks like. Again, it's very kind of stiff pulling that up. Just going to pull his little arms out the way here just in case they're what's catching on here we've got this little kind of doodab for that let's pull it out and you see his head starting to show up here there we go uh, pulled his head up all the way should should be able to reconnect that stand by yeah you see it just pulls out there so just a little bit heavy handed with that one um, and you should be able to just push that back in there like that next time so there you go that's all of the all the bot bots that I've got so far so a couple of different a couple of packs a couple of eight packs I'm just going to line them all up so you can see them all just before we end the video put some of these ones up here, Little robot modes up here as well. Have them all lined up for the moment. I'll just lean them up against each other. So, you think we've got a decent lot on our first go? Now, like I said, I ordered this set online, so you don't, I didn't necessarily get to pick which packs I got, but um, I still think it's quite cool that you. You get them all like that, and it is a bit of a, a mixed bag in terms of what you're going to get. Um, I do recommend these guys. If you are buying them for kids, just um, you, you may have to use a little bit of force to start off with. Just bear that in mind. But uh, there you go. That's um, your bot bots. Um, thanks for all the guys that uh, that have watched. Uh, I think it's about six or so people just tuned in for this one. So I do appreciate everyone watching is like i said very much appreciated i will try and do a few more of these if they are popular and people do like them um but uh that's it for now guys thanks very much and see you next time bye bye just gotta work out how to end this now Yeah, bye-bye for now, Josh. Thanks for watching. Bye.